Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Kodiak 11 inch hub and rotor disc brake assembly set. This is going to allow you to upgrade your trailer from drum brakes to disc brakes so that you can take advantage of the superior performance that comes along with having disc brakes on your trailer. Having the two brake assemblies will allow you to upgrade a single 8,000 pound capacity Dexter axle with the number 42 spindles. Our rotors are 11 inches in diameter and as you can see we've got the eight 5 8 inch diameter uh, wheel bolts here in the eight on six and a half inch bolt pattern. Uh, so these are going to work for your wheels that are 16 inches and larger. Our calipers and our caliper mounting brackets do have an e-coating on them, so it's going to help resist rust and corrosion with a 250 to 350 hour salt spray rating. However, our hub and rotor assemblies are not coated. They're just uh, that raw uh, iron construction. So uh, these are really going to be designed more for your campers, car haulers, or utility trailers, uh, trailers that aren't going to be going in and out of water frequently or on uh, heavily treated roads where they're going to come in co contact with a lot of salt. Uh, if you're looking to upgrade a boat trailer or something along those lines where it's going to be in uh, corrosive environments pretty frequently, I'd recommend going with more of a dichromate finish or a stainless steel construction. Those are designed more for those more uh, corrosive environments. So as long as your trailer is not going to be in those kind of environments frequently, uh, these will do a good job for you. And especially if you're upgrading from uh, drum brakes, these are going to give you much better performance. And we've got the ceramic brake pads here that are going to help increase your stopping power. We also have two large stainless steel pistons that provide fast, responsive braking for you. So these are going to dramatically shorten your stopping distance. They're also gonna help provide a smoother, more controlled braking experience for you. So it's gonna help keep your trailer from pushing and pulling as you're going down the road. And in addition to better performance, these are also going to require less maintenance than your drum brakes. So it's gonna help save you time and money. Having the one piece hub and rotor assembly reduces the chance of uneven rotor wear. And here on the side, you can see we do have a vented design that's going to help dissipate heat faster to prevent premature brake pad wear. Now, your brake pads will wear down over time and will need to be replaced, uh, but those, that's a pretty straightforward process, and those are really the only components that uh, should need to be replaced uh, with any frequency. So uh, unlike your drum brakes that have all the small springs and other components that could uh, potentially go bad and have to be replaced, uh, these are a high-quality automotive-grade construction, and they are going to be very long-lasting for you. Now, the one caveat with uh, upgrading from drum brakes to disc brakes is that disc brakes do require a higher line pressure than your drum brakes. Uh, so you're going to need to make sure that you've got a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines that are rated for 1500 PSI or higher in order to activate uh, your disc brakes here. Uh, so if you've got a trailer that's set up for drum brakes, that might take some doing uh, to get everything converted over. If you don't already have a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines that are rated for that 1500 PSI, we do have them available here at eTrailer.com. Uh, obviously, they're not included in this kit, so this kit isn't gonna be everything that you need, uh, but it is going to give you the two cast iron hub and rotor assemblies with the eight pre-installed 5 8 inch diameter wheel bolts on each. You're also going to get 16 of these 5 8 inch zinc plated steel lug nuts to hold your wheel in place. You'll have the two e-coated cast iron calipers as well as the two e-coated ductile iron caliper mounting brackets. Uh, as you can see, these do have the four bolt brake flange configuration, so it's gonna be very simple to get mounted on your axle. And I do wanna point out that I've got these uh, displayed on top just for balance sake, but when you actually go to install them, you'll install them on the side. That side support design puts all the weight on the mounting bracket instead of on your bolts, so it's gonna help your bolts last longer. Uh, you can see we've got our uh, hardware loosely installed up here. You'll obviously want to tighten that down when you actually go to install it, uh, but these bolts do have um, some thread lock on them, so I'm not going to install them uh, all the way down uh, just because it would be very difficult to remove them then. In addition to all of those other components, we're also going to have our inner and our outer races as well as our inner and our outer bearings that will fit in those races. Uh, to make sure that everything's rotating smoothly for us. This system is lubricated with oil, so we're going to have our two oil seals for the inside, then our two oil caps for the outside here. 
We're also going to get one eight ounce bottle of synthetic bearing oil to make sure that everything is uh, moving smoothly for us. So again, uh, if you have a trailer that's not going to be uh, in super corrosive environments frequently and you're wanting to upgrade from drum brakes to disc brakes, this is gonna be a great way to go. And that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.